operations on data structures. It should now be clear that data structure provides a logical relationship among the elements in a collection of data items. To be able to use these elements, it should be possible to apply some kind of operations to the data. First of all, we should have some mechanism to create a data structure and reserve storage in the computer to hold the data items. Also, once the data structure is not needed, it should be possible to remove the data items and release the allocated storage. Thus, creation and deletion are the two fundamental operations associated with any data structure. Other operations depend on the nature of data collection. Generally, the common useful operations include inserting, sorting, searching, merging, and traversing. Inserting involves adding a data item in a specified position to the data structures. Sorting consists of arranging the data items in specified order. Searching means finding a given data item in the data collection. Merging involves combining two sets of data item belonging to the same structure into a single set of items according to some defined criteria. Traversing means accessing each element of a data structure at least once. This operation is particularly useful on trees and graphs. It is also referred to as visiting. Undoubtedly, the strength of a particular data structure is determined among other things by the nature and variety of operations that can be performed on the data elements. User-defined data structures The data structures stacks, queues and trees described earlier are general purpose data types. These are sometimes referred to as classic data structures. Because of their frequent use, some of the programming languages, such as Java, provide built-in support for these structures. However, we can also invent our own data structures to meet the specific need of an application. Such data types are called user-defined data structures. Suppose we want to store records of employees. Each record consisting of employee's name, designation and salary. We can define a data structure AMP using C data type struct and then create an array of employee data structure. C code for user defined employee data structure is shown on the screen. The elements of employee data structure can be accessed using C's pointer notation. Storage structure. The data structure provides a logical view of the relationship among the data items. Storage structure describes how the data items are stored in the memory cells of a computer. In other words, the storage structure provides a physical view or map of how data elements of a particular data structures are allocated memory space. The elements of a data structure may be stored in computer memory in consecutive storage location or in disjoint locations. Each memory location is identified by a unique number which is called memory address. For example, the characters A, B, C belonging to same data structure might be stored in consecutive storage locations identified by memory addresses 1000, 1001, 1002 as shown. This arrangement enables us to access the elements rapidly. In order to retrieve the elements, we need to know the address of the first element in the data structure. The other elements can be accessed by simply moving to the consecutive memory cells. Alternatively, it is possible to store the characters ABC in non-contiguous storage locations. For example, A might be stored in location 2000, B in 3000, and C in 4000. However, 
In order to establish the relationship between A and B, we must provide information somewhere about the location of B. This information can be placed next to A. It is called pointer or link. Thus, storage location 2000 would contain character A. At location 2001, it would contain address of the character B, which is 3000. The arrangement is shown on screen.